Hello everyone and welcome to the series of Excel for Beginners. In this we'll start from the basics and we'll go step by step to the advanced level. Please everyone be patient because the basics may sound a little boring, but if your foundation is not strong, then it will be very easy for anyone to make you fall down. So, let's get started. So, this is the screen which you will see whenever you log in into the Excel. The version I am using is Excel 2019. If you are using any other version, it may be a little different, but more or less it's going to be the same unless you are using a very old version, which I really doubt in today's time. Anyways, so when we get started, I would first like to tell you why and where Excel is used. So I would like to bring to your notice that believe it or not, but in today's scenario, around 70 to 80% people use Excel only to maintain their list whether it's your basic household list, your checklist, whether it's your customer's data, whether it's your accounts data, whether it's your sales data or any kind of data, that data is primarily consisting of a list. So now let me come to the second most important question. Why should we use Excel? Well, if you have already seen my first part of this video series, you can skip to this duration. If not, please listen to this. Excel is a very important tool. It is like that axe that if you sharpen it, you'll be able to cut a tree and finish your work in such a small time that people will wonder how you did it. And if not, you'll really be you know, surprised that you are just trying to cut a tree with a blunt uh, axe and nothing is happening. So my friends and family normally call me and ask me that, you know, we have been trying to do this and we have spent like two hours in this. However, you do it in five minutes. How do you do it? So that is the reason I made this video series and my aim here is that we should start at this most simple level, the basic level and step by step we'll go up and we'll reach to a position where you can also finish the work which normally would have taken you two hours and you can finish it in just five minutes. So who can use Excel? Well, anyone and everyone can use Excel. Whether you are a student, whether you are a working professional, whether you are already working in the banking or investment banking industry. But this is a tool which you must know. And believe me, once your fundamentals are clear, you will be able to build pyramids, not straight towers which shake. And you will be able to increase your efficiency. I have seen in my real life students boasting in front of their teachers or their other fellow students and workers or employees boasting in front of their colleagues and their bosses and even getting promotions just because of Excel. So I'll really suggest that everyone, everyone, everyone should clear their fundamentals, learn Excel from the basics. Even if you know Excel, there is no harm in learning the basics again, because just in case you miss something, you'll be able to reiterate or relearn the fact that this is how it is used and reestablish the basic fundamentals. My way of learning is a little different. I always try and start with a story so that myself and you are on the same page. We have the same thought process and you can understand why am I focusing or why am I putting so much emphasis on something as simple as Excel. So let me get started with the story. In case if you are not interested in listening to the story, you can skip to the next chapter in the same video at this duration I'm mentioning on the screen and directly skip to the basics. So guys, let me start with the story. Long time ago, there was a town full of lumberjacks, the people who uses their axes and all such kind of equipment to cut the trees. And that is how they earn their livelihood or their livings. So in this town full of lumberjacks, they used to go every morning, cut the trees till the evening, bring back the trees, the wood locks, sell it and, you know, feed uh, their family. So there was a guy who came from a different town and when he came and they went in the morning to cut the trees, instead of starting to cut the tree, he sat on one side and he started sharpening his axe. All the people from the town looked at him and said, what are you doing, bro? This is not uh, what you should be doing. You should be focusing on cutting the tree and not sharpening the axe. Because in the end, if you are not able to cut the tree, what will you sell? How will you feed your family? He ignored all those people and kept sharpening his axe for maybe two to three hours. Once his axe was sharpened, he stood up, went to the tree. He cut the tree in half an hour to one hour and he was good to go. Everyone was shocked. How did it happen? 
we have been coming to this jungle we have been cutting the same trees for so many years and every day we spend 6 to 7 hours to cut one tree and this new fellow comes and cuts the tree in half an hour to one hour what happened so they asked what did you do how did you achieve it so he pointed at the axe and said all of you were saying that i should not sharpen my axe and i should rather cut come and cut the tree with you so this is the difference when i honed my skills or in this case when this lumberjack sharpened his axe instead of spending so much time in cutting the tree he spent some time in sharpening the axe and in a very minute time he was able to cut the tree when no one else was able to do it same is the case with excel excel is just a tool it's a very powerful tool if you are able to understand if you are able to learn if you are able to hone your excel, excel skills then you will be able to excel in excel and in anything you do because if you know your tools well no one can stop you in increasing your efficiency and gaining the same thing in a very little time so guys this was just a small motivational st uh, story so that you know why i want everyone to learn excel and let me now get into the basics of excel two small things one if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please click on the subscribe uh, button below also click on the bell icon so that whenever i post a new video you get the notification for the same and the second important point is whenever you see this icon in any corner of the screen it means something important is about to come and you should stay focused and whenever you see this icon in any corner of the screen it means this is something important stay focused if required rewind go back listen to it again and clear your fundamentals because i always believe in one thing if your fundamentals are clear and your foundation is strong then there is nothing in this world that that can shaken you up or something that you cannot achieve so if there is anything that you need to know about excel you can either email me your excel workbook along with the question my email id is in the description box below or you can always leave a comment and i will try to respond to it as soon as possible so let me start here with what is excel excel is basically a combination of rows and columns you may ask what is row what is column so let me zoom in here all these horizontal or the sleeping lines are called rows and if i go up all the standing or the vertical lines are called columns so a combination of all these rows and columns it makes a spreadsheet and this is the spreadsheet that we normally talk about we use we enter all the data here we do all the calculations here and so on so as i mentioned earlier i'm using excel 2019 and when you start you get to see this three parts the top the center and the bottom the top is basically the toolbar or the ribbon you could get to see all the commands here the center part is basically where we do all the working we enter the data and the bottom part is basically where we see the status the totals or what kind of mode are we in i'll explain it to you later most of our working is going to remain in the central area and here you'll notice where i have put my cursor the cell is surrounded by green border this is called active cell active cell is basically combination or the intersection of the row and the column so in this scenario it is column f and row 5 so the intersection the cell is called f5 i'm trying to capture and trying to explain you everything from the basic because i want to ensure that your fundamentals are cleared i will try to simplify it in case if still you want to know more details about something please leave a comment i'll either try to reply only or i will try to make a separate video on that let me start with the top part this is called the ribbon or the toolbar from 2016 version of microsoft excel it has become very easy because now it has become visual in earlier versions it used to just say home view uh, tools and so on but now being visual it has become so easy let me demonstrate this with an example in case if you see here this icon says that there's a bucket dropping the paint so maybe you want to fill the color so it also says the same thing at the bottom the next one says font color and says a with a red line so this will change the color of whatever you want to type if i move to the next one the next one says alignment and it says it shows everything is on the left the center and the right so now let me tell you different kinds of ribbons the first one says file home insert page layout formulas data review view help and it says acrobat because i have installed it and the last one is very important tell me what you want to do this is very important these are very small things 
these are very helpful. I will explain the home tab in detail and other tabs briefly and try to move on to the next part in the course. Let me start with the home tab. In home tab, the first part is the clipboard, cut copy paste format painter. If you go and click on cut, it will cut the uh, contents of the cell that you have selected. If you select a range or cells, it will copy. In copy, it has two options. The first option is copy as is and the second is copy as picture. Copy as picture is very useful in case if you want to copy some data and send it on the WhatsApp. This way the data is not scrambled. But it's not only on WhatsApp. You can use it in Microsoft Word. You can use it in other applications and we will also use it in Microsoft Excel. This I will show you in the chapters which are yet to come. As of now, let me move ahead to the next part. Last option in clipboard is Format Painter. Format Painter is a very small and handy tool to copy the formatting of the active or the selected cells or range into the new place. But I'll be making a separate detailed video for this. So as of now, I'll move on. The second part is the font and in font you'll see by default Microsoft Excel uses the font calibre and font size 11. From here, you can do bold, italics, underline. If you click on the small arrow on, against the border, you can see all the kinds of borders which are available. If you click on the small arrow against the fill color, you can see all the colors. And since I've already selected a range, wherever I'm taking my cursor, it's showing me the same color down. If you go and click on the small arrow next to the uh, A button, it will change the color of the uh, text you are typing and it will show you the uh, palette available. The next tab is alignment here. You can do top align, middle align, bottom align you can also set the degrees if you want to set it to 15 degrees 45 degrees or anything you can always try it at home yourself you can do left alignment center alignment justified right alignment decrease and increase indent and so on wrap text and merge and center will be discussed in detail in uh, next chapters let me move on to the numbers this part is also going to be discussed in detail in the next chapter so let me move on to the next part Again here, condition formatting and format as table will be discussed in detail in the chapters to come. The last part in this particular tab, I'll show you that it says neutral, bad and all these. Wherever I take my mouse, it shows me the same kind of formatting. In the next part, cells, insert, delete formatting will be covered later in this chapter itself. Editing all these options will be covered in the chapters to come. So I'm not spending a lot of time on these small things right now because I know I have to cover them later in the chapters and I have spent a little more time on the home tab in all other tabs I'll spend a little less time because we will spend more time when we learn them and use them let me come on the insert ribbon now in this you will see the first palette is tables which is inclusive of pivot tables recommended pivot tables and tables this is highly and extremely important but this is a part of advanced level so we'll cover it later not right now. The next palette is illustrations. This is basically if you want to insert pictures, shapes, icons and so on. Add-ins is something which is again for advanced level, not the beginners level. So we'll come to it later because Excel is not made only for us, but it is made for so many people. Charts is basically for visual representation of any data. Similarly, 3D maps is something which will give you in 3D representation lines columns win loss is something we'll be covering in the advanced part of the excel not right now similarly filters links and symbols we'll see in medium to advanced level not right now now i'll dive into the page layout section here the most important palette is the page setup layout so here you'll see the margins orientation whether you want to make your page portrait or landscape you want to change the page size from a4 to a1 or you want to set the print area so that whenever you print only that particular area is printed everything can be done here so this is very very easy if we move to the next part you want the grid lines to be shown you want the headings to be shown it to be printed or not printed you want all the arrangements if you are putting some images you want some image to go forward or go backward everything can be done here the next and again very important is formulas here 2016 onwards Excel has made it visually and very easy to understand. So it says recently used whatever you have used recently in financial, if you want to take out the NPB, IRR or whatever, everything is very easily visible here, logical text and so on. All these we'll be discussing later when we come to this particular part. Let me get into define names. Define names is again a very useful thing which not many people use, but I'll 
very quickly cover it right now i'll be making a separate chapter only on defined names so as of now let me give you a very small example if you have a column of let's say age of 100 people and in a different sheet you want to go and refer to the same column instead of going and referring it again and again you can very easily and very simply just say is equal to and whatever name you have defined and it will take the values as is so when i'll make a new chapter you can always refer to that if i have already made it by the time i post this video i'll keep the link up so let me move on to the next part next palette is formula auditing so important believe me and i don't know why people don't use it be making a separate chapter only for auditing later but i already have another video for 10 most useful tips and tricks where i have shown how to use formula auditing in brief you can click on the i on the top right this will give you a fair idea on how to use auditing along with an example so let me move forward the last palette is the calculation palette in this way you basically have two options the normal user will use auto calculate and the advanced user will use manual calculation normally by default it is an automatic calculation but if we are making a very huge financial model in that scenario we normally like to put it on the manual mode because that phase you don't have to wait for a lot of time because excel will take a long time in case if it's a very long workbook and every calculation has to be done again and again so in here you can see there are a couple of options available if you have selected manual then you have option of calculate now if it's the sheet you want to calculate only then you can always go and select the calculate sheet so let me move on to the next tab this is data data is very important but it is for advanced level so we'll not cover it right now we'll cover it later just a couple of things that will be helpful for us uh, in the medium level which is like remove duplicates text to column data validation consolidate or filters so we'll cover it later now let me move on to the review tab review is again very simple like any other microsoft application you have option of spelling check thesaurus translating and all those this is something i believe you can try on yourself otherwise when we get to one of the things we'll look at it let me now come to the view tab or the ribbon here you'll see a lot of things which you'll start using at the basic level itself like zoom and windows and all these things and these are some things which you'll be needing every now and then normal is basically the view you are in page break view if you have couple of pages it will show you with a blue line that this is how it will look in page breaks or this data will come on this one page and the rest of the data will come on the other page print layout or page layout how it will print out in show you can see rulers grid lines these are some things which you can you know always take and untick and see what is shown and what is hidden so it will help you formula bar is something which is very very important i will always recommend you should have it some people tend not to use it zoom is something which uh, will help you not only zoom in zoom out but also to put it back on 100% like if you click on 100% it will bring back zoom to selection if you select a couple of cells or a range and zoom then it will show you only that much and you click on 100% again it will take you back to the normal thing window and macro both will be covered in medium to advanced level so right now you don't need to worry about it and whatever you have already learned i will recommend you should go through it again you can skip the story if you want and rest of the things so that your basics are clear whenever we'll move forward you don't have to come back to basics again and again so your start should be good and in case if you have any questions any queries or you want a video on this particular topic you can always comment down below you'll find a links in my description for the other videos as well so guys if you have uh, not yet subscribed to my channel i'll really appreciate if you can subscribe click like and share it with your friends and family so that everyone can take advantage of it a couple of more videos which i'm providing the link here on the end cards you can always click them and uh, take advantage of them well guys thanks a lot for watching the video till now thank you thank you bye